Hey guys, so today we are starting chapter 11 and we're going to be learning about visualizing and constructing polyhedrons. All right, make sure you have your notebook and your pencil. Okay, so go ahead and write your title. Our goal today is to recognize and sketch the top, front, and side views of polyhedrons. Then we're going to identify their nets. Okay, so polyhedron, it's a big word, but polyhedron just means it's a 3D shape with polygons as faces. And as you guys learned a few months ago when we did geometry, polygon is just closed shape with straight lines. Is a circle polygon? No, it is not because it's curved. So that is just what a polyhedron is. All right, so we're going to start with the first one. We have eight that we're going to learn how to draw today. The first one is, you guys know what this one is, right? Number one, square base pyramid. The base is a square. Okay, so go ahead and take your time. You're going to start going down, draw a triangle, then connect it. Then you're going to have two lines. Okay? Rewind if you um, just need to go back. Okay, number two. You guys know what this one is? This is a cube. So this way that we're drawing is going to help you for all your prisms. So draw a square, draw a square going a little higher in the corner, then connect the lines. Okay, number three. This looks kind of like a square base pyramid, but instead of five faces, one, two, three, four, five, there's only four. So the prefix tetra means four. So this shape, um, polyhedron here is called a tetrahedron, four faces, one, two, three, four. Okay, so just like drawing this one, you're going to make the top, but instead of going one, two, you're just going to go a straight line across. Okay, tetrahedron. Number three, okay, so some of you know this shape. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six, six, um, six, cor uh, six corners, so six vertices. So six is hex, so it's called hexagonal prism. Okay, so don't forget X is six hexagonal prism. Okay, so this one's easy. Just draw a hexagon, one at the top and then one at the bottom. Then connect the four faces, uh, the four vertices. So one, two, three, four. All right, so there's our first four. We're going to move on to number five, hexagonal pyramid. So just looking at hexagonal, we know there's going to be how many sides or how many, like, which shape are we looking at? We're looking at a hexagon. So just go ahead and draw your hexagon. So we see here, kind of looks like a diamond. So draw a hexagon first. Then you're going to have a vertice at the top. So one, and then just connect. Okay, it's nice. All right, number six. You guys know what this one is. We have a new name for this polyhedron. We're not going to call it a rectangular prism. We're going to call this a cuboid. Okay, one, because it's easier to spell and write, because we're going to be working with this a lot. Or you can just use rectangular prism. It's the same thing. Okay, so do the same thing as we did for the cube. Draw two and connect all corners. All right, number seven. You guys know what this one is? Triangular prism. All right, so see what I mean, how you just draw two and connect it? All right, so our last shape today, this is a cool one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight faces. Kind of, um, last year the seven said it looked like a sims diamond. I don't know. <laughs> but since there's eight faces, think of an animal that has eight legs. Okay, so octopus. So a good way to remember this is octahedron. Octa, the prefix means eight. So here we have an octahedron. So just draw the top just like a square base pyramid. And then draw the same thing at the bottom. There you go. So those are our eight polyhedrons that we're going to be working with for this chapter. So now part two, we're going to be looking at their nets. So what is a net? Okay, so all you have to do is remember that a net is just a 2D shape. It's flat. And when you fold it, it creates a 3D shape. So just looking at this, if I fold this up, hmm, what shape is that? If I fold these up, what is that? Okay, so you're going to test yourself. I'm going to show some nets on the screen, and you're going to just say it out loud just to see if you can if you can do it. Okay, so we have our first one. All right, square base pyramid, number two. Cube, number three. So we're going to fold these up. All right, tetrahedron, number four. Six sides. Fold this up. Good, hexagonal prism. So this one's a... Pyramid, 
because you're folding these upwards, so it's a hexagonal pyramid. What is that one? Cuboid. Next one, triangular prism. And the last one, this has eight faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octahedron. So you guys are going to get used to it. It's a lot of um, hedrons and big words, but as long as you're practicing, I promise you guys will have this memorized. Okay, so your only homework today is just to use your notes, and you're going to write down what the name of each of these nets are. That's number one. And then number two, you're going to count how many faces, edges, and vertices. Now, you're probably wondering, what is a face? I don't remember what a vertice is or an edge. But in grade five, when you learn face, it just means a flat surface. Okay, so face right here. One, two, three, like that. Okay, so let's look at the cube and count the faces. One, two, three, four, five at the bottom, six at the top. There are six faces for a cube. Or you can look at the net. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a vertice, a vertice, um, a vertex, which is just one, just means three faces meeting. In other words, the corner. So one corner, two, okay, this is the vertex, vertex. Okay, so let's count. There's four at the top, one, two, three, four, four at the bottom, one, two, three, four. So there's eight vertices. Okay, so a quick way to do this. Now looking at the net, you guys, when you count the edge, do not go like this. One, two, three. That's not an edge. An edge is when two faces meet. So this face is meeting this face. This right here is the edge. Okay, so you can, it's going to take a while, look at your drawing and go one, two, three, four, and you can count each edge, or you can use this um, theorem that we learned, that you're gonna learn, I think in high school. It's called Euler's theorem. So all you have to do is just do face plus vertice, so face plus vertice, minus two for all of them, minus two for everything. Okay, and there you have your edges. So let's do that, let's add six plus eight which is 14 minus 2, 14 minus 2 is 12, so there are 12 edges, okay? And that's all you have to do. You just have to do add your face and vertice, and that you will give you your edge. You can also look at your drawing and count, um, so whichever one works for you, but I just think this one's easier because you don't have to do all the counting, all right? So let's try one more time. Let's look at our hexagonal prism. How many faces does it have? So we have six on the outside, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then how many on the top? One, two. So there are eight faces. Now I want you to count the vertices. How many corners does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six corners at the top. That means six corners at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 12. So you can go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and count all the edges. Or you can go eight plus 12 minus 2. So what is 8 plus 12 minus 2? 20 minus 2 is 18. So there are 18 edges. Okay? So you can do that, um, or you can count it. It's up to you. Um, to, for your homework today, you're just going to do these eight um, polyhedrons, write how many faces, edges, and vertices, and the name of it. All right? Um, message me if you need any help. Also, you guys can print it if it's easier, or you can write your answers and send me a photo. All right, guys, again, this assignment is due Friday, but I highly suggest to just get it done today. And um, this week is a little jam-packed, so try to stay on top of all your work and message me if you need any help at all. All right, guys, good job today.